Hello guys, welcome to my new Changing Impact video. Guys, in this video, we are going to talk about the upcoming new character that's gonna come in patch 4.5. The new Geo 5 star lady, the Chiori. I don't know if I'm pronouncing the name right or you know, you know what I'm saying. The Chiori, she is coming in the patch 4.5. So in this video, we are gonna talk about in depth about the top 5 5 star weapons for your Chiori, DPS Chiori, so stay tuned till the end guys. Before talking about any of the weapon, I just give you a brief about the gameplay and the kit of Chiori. Chiori is a Geo damage character based on the sword, so sword is going to be the main weapon for Chiori. And guys, Chiori deals a maximum amount of damage in her elemental burst and in the normal attacks, basically similar to what, what Al Ahidam and Catching does. But in a very different way. The gameplay looks very similar but kit is very different. Like Shiori is based on the attack percentage plus defense percentage. Yes. Uh, his her all her all damages are calculated on the basis of the attack percentage and the defense percentage. I don't know how that's gonna work. So make sure you have both so like a uh, little bit of both attack percentage and defense percentage. So in this video, uh, we are going to talk about the weapon which is which are related to the normal attack, the elemental burst, the skills, basically the normal attacks, the more normal attacks and attacks percentage and defense also. So let's start with the number 5. On number 5, we have the Skyward Blade. Skyward Blade is the standard weapon. It's been in the game for ages. Skyward Blade is a 5 star weapon having a base attack of 600 8 and the energy recharge of 55%. In the case of Shiori, you actually don't need energy recharge because Shiori's elemental burst only costs 50. And in the case of 50, I don't think you gonna need 50% energy recharge. No. But why I recommend this event? Because this event is very old and is, if you're playing a Genshin Impact for like a very long time, you most probably have this weapon already in your account. I don't have, but you should. This one gives a uh, crit rate by 4% if you have the R1 in R2, R3, R4, R5 it will give higher. Gain a sky piercing might upon using on an elemental burst. If you use an elemental burst you go again a, a certain amount of effect which gives you the like, increased 10% movement speed, increased 10% attack speed to your normal and charge attack. If you deal the normal and charge attack. Uh, the damage is also gonna be increased by 20%. So this weapon is overall very good weapon, matches with the kit of Chiori, but not that great weapon. I'm including this in the list of top 5 because it's very old and most of you guys already have in your account. So if you don't wanna wish on any weapon or you don't wanna invest any wishes or money on the weapon of Chiori, you can get this weapon and use this weapon on Chiori. Okay well, guys, on number 4 we have the Primordial Jade Cutter. Primordial Jade Cutter is personally my favorite weapon. That this weapon is can be usable on like lots of characters. Like I think all of the DPS and sub DPS. This weapon's kit is just matches with everyone. This weapon in base attack gives you 542 base attack and 44% crit rate. That is very much high. This weapon is also in the game for the ages, like for the ages. So it, might the possibilities are very high that you have already have this weapon in your account. In the refinement, this gives HP increased by 20%. Additionally, provides an attack bonus based on the based on 1.2% of the wielder's max HP. This is already giving you extra, you know, HP percentage if you are if the character is not based on HP percentage or something like that, and giving you the bonus attack on the basis of your wielder's max HP. That is gonna be very good. It's a very good weapon. Overall, it's a very good balanced weapon. Not so strong, not so weak, but it's a very good balanced weapon. So you can use this weapon on Shiori, but this is not the ideal weapon. The fourth number and the fifth number are not the ideal weapon for Shiori, but they the though these weapons can be usable on Shiori if you don't want to invest any of your wishes for the higher and better weapon for Shiori. So on number four, guys, we have the primordial chain. We have the Heron. Heron is also a 5-star weapon and it's a signature weapon of Kamisato Ayato. Kamisato Ayato is all, also based on the normal attacks. The maximum amount of damage he deals, he deals in the normal attacks. So this weapon is going to be very good. If you have this weapon, this weapon is going to be blast on the Chiori. In the base attack, this weapon gives 608 attack and in the sub this weapon gives 
33.1% credit rate. One thing I forgot to tell you guys in uh, Chiori gains additional bonus credit rate in the Ascension. Yes, in her Ascension, she gains around around 19% extra bonus crit attack. In the refinement ability of this weapon, obtains 12% of the da elemental damage bonus when other party members uses their elemental skills. The character equipping this weapon will gain one wave sp uh, spike stack. Maximum, he can gain up to two. This effect can be triggered once every 0 0.3 seconds when the character equipping this weapon uses elemental skill. All the stacks of the wise spike will be consumed to gain rippling um up he, he will each stack of waves i consume is increased normal attack damage by 20 percent so basically this weapon is giving you 12 percent extra elemental damage bonus means 12 percent extra geo damage bonus to your theory and giving you extra 20 percent normal attack damage not so great not so amazing but perfectly matches with the kit of Shiori, this weapon is giving you higher base attacks, higher, a good amount of crit rate and extra damages bonus which is I think very very good. So number 3 guys, the Heron. If you have this weapon, you can try this weapon on Shiori because this weapon matches the kit, matches with the kit of uh, Shiori. So this is gonna, still going to be very good on the field. Alright guys, on number 2 we have the Miss Splitter Reforge. I think Miss Splitter Reforge is the strongest sword in the game. This is a signature weapon of Ayaka. Uh, this came a very long time back in the game when Inazuma in came. So this is also a 5 star weapon and this is a signature weapon of Ayaka. The, this having a base attack of 674 with the crit damage of 44%. Why this weapon is going to be very good on Shiori because Shiori comes with the ascension of crit rate and you're giving up weapon with the crit damage. You know, just balancing things out. Also, the signature weapons of Shiori also have 44% crit, uh, some amount of crit damage. I don't know how. We'll get to know in a bit. So, in this Reforge, you are getting 674 base attack and 44.1% uh, crit damage along with the amazing element uh, refinement ability. There's, there's very uh, have a very long paragraph. In short, you're getting a good amount of elemental damage bonus. You can stack them, and then you when your energy get hundred percent, you have uh, you have to use your elemental burst. Otherwise, all the you know stacks disappear. In the case of Shiori, you're gonna just spam your ele elemental burst on the enemy, and your elemental burst also gets really very very fast. So this. The refinement rank just matches perfectly with the kit of Shiori. So if you want to use this weapon on Shiori, you just go ahead. You don't even need the signature weapon of the Shiori. This weapon just perfect for Shiori. So number two, guys, the greatest sword in the game, the Miss Splitter Reforge. Alright, guys, on number one, we have the signature weapon of the Shiori. It's called Uraku Misugiri. Uraku Misugiri. <laughs> This is a 5 star weapon that's coming in the patch 4.5 and also a signature weapon of Chiori. This weapon gives you 541.83 base attack and the crit damage. This weapon gives crit damage of 88.2%. That's pretty much very high for a sword. It is actually very high for a sword. This is giving you 88.2% crit damage. That is very, very high. In the refinement ability, it is giving you normal attack damage is increased by 16% and elemental skill damage is increased by 24%. After a nearby active character deals geo damage, geo damage, the aforementioned effect increased by 100% for 15 seconds. Additionally, the wielder def defense is increased by 20%. This weapon is giving you normal attack damage bonus. This weapon is giving you elemental skill damage bonus this weapon is giving you defense 20 percent defense this weapon giving you this weapon is giving you 541 attack this weapon is giving you 88 percent crit damage this weapon is giving you 24 percent elemental damage increase if it's giving you 16 percent normal attack damage increase also this weapon is giving you the 100 percent effect increase of both the normal attack and the elemental skill damage that is just amazing i don't know what to tell about this weapon this weapon is just crazy i just imagine imagine using this weapon on any other character characters like uh, 
Ayaka or El Adam or uh, Ayato. This is gonna be very very good. You can also use this weapon on um, maybe no this weapon. Yeah, this weapon is gonna be very very good because we all play jongli with many characters, so we can deal the geo damage with other characters. Like with the jongli, we can just deploy the pillar and use his weapon on Ayaka or uh, you know maybe. Yeah, so the only thing is here is the twenty percent defense gonna be, you know, useless for them. But yeah, overall this weapon is just blast. A, a very good weapon that coming in four point five patch. If you're not wishing for Shiori, maybe you'll get this weapon. This weapon is very strong, uh, like for a sword. So guys, this is my list. This is my top five weapons for Shiori. There's gonna be many other weapons also in the game, the, like the uh, signature weapon of for Furina and signature weapon of El Adam. Signature weapon of El Adam is also good, but I'm I didn't recommend this though, that weapon in this video because that weapon is based on the elemental mastery. A uh, Furina weapon is based on the HP percentage, so that's the reason I haven't like I didn't include that weapon in this list. But if you wanna try those weapons, the Furina signature weapon and the El Adam signature weapon, you can try out by yourself. Okay, I'm just gonna revise the list uh, again quickly. On number five, we have the Skyward Blade. On number four, we have the Primordial Jet Cutter. On number three, we have the Haren Gepaku for two. On number two, we have the Misplitter Reforge. And on number one, we have the Uraku Misugiri. That's it for the video, guys. If you like the video, you can hit the like button. If you have any question related to uh, any changing things, you can comment below and. Guys, come on, like the video, subscribe to my channel. We'll meet in the next video. Till then, bye bye. Take care.